Dear friends, I am going to make this video on various aspects of our neighboring snakes, very much part of our biodiversity. I am giving lot of examples, short stories, and putting photographs taken by our team, collected from others. All these will help you to understand why are the snakes in our society, what is their role, should we save them, how to save, how to escape. There are lot many things you are going to see in my video. Please kindly do like, share and subscribe the videos. The moment anybody sees a snake, he shivers. And in an order to protect himself or herself, we tend to kill them. But having a good understanding and their role, we can really save them and we can live with them. Man and snake can live together in a very good collaboration. This is what the video about is. Now let us talk about two broad things. Venomous snakes, that means poisonous snakes, and non-venomous, otherwise known as non-poisonous snakes. These are the two broad species we have. Most of the venomous snakes move in the dark, in the night, or in the dull times. Why? Because they are not as fast as non-venomous snakes. For example, a rat snake. It's a really a kind of a stealthy snake, strong, can grow big, it can move very fast, climb trees, go into burrows, anywhere. It is absolutely a versatile snake, commonly we see is a rat snake and the most commonly killed also. What happens to these rat snakes? They eat small, small amphibians, frogs, mostly rats and a lot of birds, whatever the size which they can angle, they can eat. They have a very good habit of chasing the prey because they don't have poison. They chase the prey and catch them and swallow them. In the same order, they do control the poisonous snakes. A good, well-grown rat snake can kill smaller cobras and even smaller vipers even a smaller curry. That means a good well-grown non-venomous snake can kill and can control the number of poisonous snakes. Mostly these non-venomous or non-poisonous snakes, they move in the daytime. If they have to chase a rat, it cannot chase in the midnight hour because it's very difficult to catch. That's why we often find non-venomous snakes very much visible during the daytime. For example, some of the tree snakes, water snakes, and the rat snakes. But the poisonous snakes, they move in the darker times. They cannot move like a rat snakes. They do not have so much of strength of the body where they can run after a prey. What they do, they just sit in a corner and then they bite and with the poison it doesn't move and then snake swallows. So this is what happens. So poisonous snakes, non-poisonous snakes can kill each other when there is a difference in their size. The size matters. So this is a basic introduction. So what are people doing? They are killing the poisonous snakes in the late hours and they are killing the non-poisonous snakes in the daytime. We are controlling both. Actually, we are depriving them from our biodiversity. Every species of plant, animal, human and birds, aquatic animal, everybody has a role in this biodiversity. Thus, we maintain this planet Earth.